Our top news this week. Sony has released an updated version of their ExoCN white paper. The latest version 1.1 is a highly recommended read for any future Verano owner or anyone working with the Venice 2, as it provides a digestible overview of some of the technical parameters behind the ExoCN format and its benefits compared to ProRes and other formats. Utilizing a 16-bit MXF wrapper, ExoCN is a highly efficient compressed raw format, available in three flavors, XT the highest quality, targeting high-end green screen and feature film work, the ExoCN ST or standard, which offers a great balance between quality and file size, while the LT variant, which is the one the new Sony Burano can record, offers an even lighter file size, but with the same benefits of 16-bit RAW and POST. You can download the white paper PDF via the link below. Rode has released a handy tutorial on how to use timecode with the Adi Alexa 35 or Mini LF and their latest wireless pro microphone system. This is a very useful tool enabling cinematographers and camera operators to sync their footage in post in a budget-friendly and intuitive way. The Rode Central app makes it easy to navigate the settings to enable timecode, select appropriate frame rates and gain settings. Ensure your Alexa Mini LF or Alexa 35 is set to match the frame rate, then using a 3.5mm to timecode cable jam sync the wireless receiver with the camera. You will then see the timecode in the camera viewfinder jump to match the timecode from the Wireless Pro. You can check out the link below for the full tutorial. And speaking of affordable solutions, there is a video assist app out there that turns your iPad into a professional camera monitor on set. There are a few apps out there of course, but the one I'm referring to here is the video assist from Our Own Studios, which makes it possible to monitor, take screenshots and even record footage from various HDMI or SDI camera sources while utilizing compact USB capture cards. This intuitive app can transform the high quality display of your iPad into a director's monitor, an on-camera monitor, or a second screen for your DIT workstation. Record Trigger is supported for Adi Alexa cameras, Sony Venice, RED and Blackmagic cameras, while the app also includes a host of monitoring tools, such as color correction, rotate, scale, zoom, and more. And that's all we have for this week. We'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.